Hello and welcome to Tara's Daily Insight. My name is Mitchell and it is Tuesday, April the 16th, 2013. And I thank you for taking time to watch this video, Tara's Daily Insight, as well as the second. So with all that being said, I want to go ahead and set the intention for you and for me that we would receive healing, guidance, confirmation, and a better connection to our higher self simply by watching and viewing this video, taking the time to do that. I also want to set the intention that you would resonate, operate, and vibrate in the highest possible frequency of divine love that you can today, and that you would be in alignment and harmony with your authentic, true self and source and your higher self and spirit and all that is. So just simply agree with that and or say, and so it is, and wonderful. You've got that set. So I'm um, going to go ahead and dive right in and um, pull the card for today. Yesterday I did forget to attach the chariot card um, once I um, uploaded the video. So I've got new things going on, so I'm still a little scattered on that. But today I think I've got it all set up. And our card for today, very nice, Eight of Cups. So at this point, I will definitely bring in the Eight of Cups and talk about it. I think this is a pretty appropriate card for today, especially after the stuff that happened yesterday here in the U.S. and, and up in Boston. The number eight, um, very receptive number, um, somewhat of a peaceful, passive number. Uh, it is very feminine. It is the infinity si sign upright. It's double fours. It's solid. It's just it's it's just a very soothing and calm card to me. Now looking at this card, cups. Let's not forget are things that are emotional, spiritual, even romance matters of the heart. This card is a favorite of mine because uh, most of you know I love the hermit card. Uh, just it's such a I don't know. I like being that hermit where I can sit and read and study and connect. Um, I'm very, very social person, so that's probably why I like the hermit card because I, I like to get my, my quiet time on and my hermit on. But this card is also another one that reflects that same feeling for me in this deck. In other decks, it doesn't reflect the same feeling. It's often a man looking down at several cups spilled over and he has his cape on and it's like he's going to take a journey up a mountain. But I love the fact that this guy's in the water and as you can see down below, they're actually the eight legs of the octopus is kind of his body. So he's almost like a, <laughs> I started to say something like a mermaid, but then I thought, what could he be, a man puss? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's all I could come up with. And it's funny, but kind of gross. Um, so he's a man puss. Um, and also the, another reason why this card resonates with me, if you can see the symbol in the moon, which um, the moon is very psychic. It's very, um, you know, peaceful, also reflective, but that's the Pisces sign, which is what I am. We're in water, et cetera, et cetera. So this card for today, I feel like it's a good day to reflect on things. Um, I'm hearing, um, keep your mouth shut more than not. You know, the old saying, we've got two ears and one mouth, so listen twice as much as you speak. If you've never heard that, that'll be a great aha moment for you, because it was for me when I first heard it, and I think it was even said as a joke. Um, but, um, so speak half as much as you listen, especially today. Because um, I, I know after something like yesterday, uh, a lot of people will start posting things and, and you know, what's your intention behind the post? You know, and I'm sure many of you can see when people are just wanting more attention for themselves and they can latch on to something like this. The news surely teaches us how to do that because it's all about ratings and the more ratings they can get, the better job security and more money that the companies make. I'm not saying all news does that, but it definitely would be one of those things where it'd be great to, to listen more than we, we actually speak. So um, take that for today as the message, and I will go ahead and shift into the open door now. So thank you for staying tuned in, and as we shift into the open door, um, very interesting moment because a lot of what happened yesterday is going on in my mind. Some of what I said in the video resonated with a few people about what could have happened. And it was a nice um, learning moment for me as a psychic and an intuitive because a lot of the images and words that I got fit. Um, sometimes how they were delivered weren't exactly right on, but there's definitely a lot of things that are correlating with the incident in Boston and the bomb, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, most of you know me for 
however many months I've been doing this, eight or nine months. I don't step into like the political pop culture arena, but I will say this, um, I'm just opening the door and whatever comes through is going to come through. Um, maybe that's me being courageous and brave and asking myself the question that I've encouraged you guys to ask often is, what would I do if I weren't afraid? So I'm stepping into that arena and I will go ahead and say right off the bat, um, I just keep, this morning especially, I just keep hearing, oh, I, someone did something so stupid, so stupid yesterday. Uh, I, I do not believe it was any kind of terrorism or act. The, the images that I get is somebody, and I'm going to say the words I'm hearing, this is from, from the other side, somebody, some silly person craving attention and wanting some kind of exposure um, in their tiny little apartment, um, set something up, did not think it all the way through in the sense of how it was going to affect the people. Because I will say this, I do feel this person had no intention of harming or killing anybody. Uh, making an impact, yes. But um, it, we'll see how all that plays out in the news. And like I said, I'm just saying what I'm getting from the other side. That's not my personal opinion. I've not watched any of the news. Um, when they show things, it's just a quick footage and video. So I'm not listening to any news or stories on that. I tend to not um, uh, because I, I trust my guys to give me the information about um, the world events that I need to know about. And um, I, you know, I'm vibrating as high as I possibly can. And a lot of times that stuff just pulls you down to a much lower place. So completely shifting. I'm seeing a mother making pancakes for her kids. Um, actually, I feel like this could be for tomorrow because uh, I feel like the person's already moved out of the kitchen today. But I, f I see a mother making pancakes for the kids. It feels very celebratory, so I feel like either the child's birthday is today or tomorrow. Um, wonderful laughter. Um, feeling the father either works a lot, distant, or out of the picture. But um, he's, he, he seems to be in the kids' lives, but just not right now, right today which it's okay, and it feels okay. I like that, that feel there. Um, but this woman, uh, you know, she brings home the bacon, fries it up in the pan, um, you know, so she really takes care of her business. I think the message here is um, pay attention to the little ones, listen to them, um, make sure you give them a hug, kiss them on the head, especially the little boy. Even though he plays tough guy, he needs that, especially from his mother. Uh, he's got a great role model as a father, I feel. So uh, definitely, you know, make sure, mom, you know, you show him how a woman should treat a, a, a little man, and, and it'll, it'll really help him as he grows older. I'm back to this, and it's so funny because somebody said something about going fishing, but I'm back to a, a small fishing boat on a lake. Um, somebody typed something in one of the emails because I think I was talking about the alligators when they were going fishing. This fishing, okay, now they're telling me it's just figurative. So whoever feels like they're drifting on a boat, very peaceful, very beautiful, fishing and looking for answers, <laughs> this is going to probably hit a lot of people. First of all, you need to bait the hook. Don't be afraid of the worms or the crickets. So bait the hook. This is all figuratively, so fill in your own bait. Bait the hook. Ask the questions. All right, put it out there. Then you've got to put the bait in the water and pay attention to the pole because if you're sleeping or distracted, you're not going to realize when you get the answer, when you get the nibble, when you get the fish. So there's definitely a lot of you know um, uh, analogy and figurative talks here. So ask the questions, meaning bait the hook, put the pole in the water, set it out there for the universe, continue to think about it, continue to watch over it because the answer will come and I'm hearing the answer will come before the end of this week less than seven days but I feel like it's the end of this week if you continue to watch that um, it's big stuff it's um, family house and relationship type things so uh, really pay attention to that somebody just texted email me but I just want to see who it was in case it was a reference to this I, I can't tell but anyway, so there's the open door message for today. It seems like we're usually getting about three of those, or three little vignettes, three windows to look through. So you guys have a wonderful day. Be good to yourselves. Don't forget, get quiet, get reflective. Um, and then with the open door, bait the hook, ask the questions, keep 
be vigilant about the answers coming. So here's my website down here. You can jump to that, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Please feel free to um, email me any, any things that resonate or connect with you. You can either do it here on the Facebook page, or if you're watching this on, excuse me, if you're watching it on Facebook, you can put it down there or even private message me. If you're watching it on the YouTube channel, you can also message, message me there. Um, I do try to respond to all of those. Um, right now, I seem to be able to do that, but if it gets more and more, because uh, my goal is to get up to, by the end of this year, I want to have 1,000 subscribers. So I'm going to quadruple my, because I'm almost at 200. So <laughs> make it times five. That's how I need to say it. So have a good one. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.